Welcome back. Everyone knows the deal by now. Just a quick one I forget to mention. If you want the results, results are at the end. Papa, when you're ready, good luck. Drive on. We're just going to try to exit the car park here on the right hand side. And then hopefully the sat nav will give you the directions. And as you know, mm -hmm. just follow the sat nav. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Turn left, Chapel Lane, then go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, West End Lane. After 100 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, West End Lane. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Remembered what the last two minor faults were from the previous mod test now. Uh, right mirror check. So there were some occasions where we had a parked vehicle and we were moving around the parked vehicle mm -hmm. that we may or may not check the right mirror. I'll we'll try to watch it a little bit. After 200 yards, turn left Elm Park Road, then take the second right. left, then take the second right.
After 100 yards, turn right, A404, Duxbridge Road. Turn right. Would you be able to tell us about the headrest? How would we like to have it positioned? Um, it should be above your. It should be above your ear line. Um, it should be strong and rigid. I would say. Thank you. Front should be um, strong and rigid. Should be able to support um, just above your ear, just above your ear. Thank you. Uh, just as we pass the centre reservation, there's a long section of raised curb here. You can split up anywhere on the left here for me. Just before the dark yellow is it? Thank you, and then when you're ready and it's safe, drive on again for me, please. Thank you. When it's safe, would you show me how to demiss the front window? Thank you. Nice to leave a little gap just in case someone comes along, they live in there. Helpful. And good mirror checks for a change direction. Uh, that's all we'd need, really. It's just the mirror checks. If you want to add the signals, it's after okay. 200 we yards, really cross the roundabout and take the first exit, A410, Duxbridge Road. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. to Hatch End. Oh, doggy. Naughty.
after 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A410, Duxbridge Road. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Okay, so we've got some roadworks here, the road's been closed, so we're just going to take the next left and ignore the sat nav. This, this, this left is here? Just before the sign, yeah, um, a couple of vehicles turned, so we're just going to take this left here. to the right here, just take care. And then if you could turn into this next road on the right. Thank you. At the end of the road, turn left. At the end of this road, turn right. So, instead, follow the sign, please. Headstone Lane. Headstone Lane. Turn right, then turn right. Turn right, then turn left. Sorry, I 
careful if they're able to kind of cut round. But it doesn't appear that that's the case. So take this next road on the left, please. Next road on the left. After 200 yards, turn left, Headstone Lane. I just ignore the sand now. So I haven't been down this road before, so this is new for me as well. For that reason, what I'm going to do is just turn the sound lab off because it's going to talk too much. And would you turn left here for me, please? Thank you. If we're lucky, take the next road on the left. Now we should look at the sign as we turn left. So it should be that one there. Um, and there will be a T on it if it's a dead end. But I don't see any signs. Present usually means it's going to be a dead end. But it does kind of look like it might possibly lead out. Let's see. So it does seem to lead out. So what we're going to do is just try and enjoy this main road ahead of us. <clears throat> and then there'll be some signs that say pin up. And I'd like you to follow the signs to... Okay, so the first sign doesn't say pin up. First sign says Watford Stanmore Hatchet. signs will say pin up so if you could continue to follow the signs to pin up from now on thank you you're like a little oven over there people's temperature does seem to rise when they're on tests why do you think that is maybe with the thinking of the that's what i thought i wasn't sure work. yeah right like more blood's going to the brain more heat okay first sign for pin is coming up Go left again, like a U-turn, left, left. Thank you. So they're doing some big works down there. There's another lorry coming. 
Okay, now, fingers crossed, this one leads us back out, and then we can go back to follow the signs of the pillar. Let's see though, because I haven't used this road before. It's new. see the T again. I did look for the T as we entered this road to see if it was going to be in that end. Hmm. Possibly a dead end. Alright, so we stop here? It's not behind us. Would you turn right there? Thank you. <coughs> Let's see and at the end of this road, turn left. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, so it'll be the end of this road, turn left, the end of the next road, turn left, and then follow the signs of the pillar. The sign is quite close, so if you get a chance, you might be able to just see it quickly here. Yeah. This is the first thing. Correct. Okay, thank you. That'll be the end of all the independent drive. We're going to finish off with the manoeuvre. So we're going to go into another car park that the examiners might ask you to use, which is the supermarket car park. Um, so it says Superstore on the sign here. First exit, turning left, please. Following the road to the right into the supermarket car park and continue to follow the road ahead if it's safe all the way to the George Bush. We've been here before, right? So you know about this section here. Very good observations. And turning right. Good speed. Again, good observations. You'll be surprised how many people don't observe at this junction. Thank you. We're going to continue to go to the far back part of the car park. Nice defensive driving. 
And what I'd like us to do is just slowly stop somewhere on this arrow. Lovely. We do have some bays here. You may or may not want to move the car, but ultimately what I'd like to do is a reverse bay park. So, I mean, you, you have more choice now they've moved, okay? So whichever bay you choose and reverse into one of the spaces, finish between the lines. Thank you. Okay, silly question time. Are you finished? Yes. Lovely. All right, do me a favor then. Just push the power button, power down. And uh, we'll see if any of our friends are here to join us for the results. But as you know, it is a tradition to ask, how do you feel it went? I feel that went smoothly. I want to say it was a pass. Yeah. And I will totally agree with you. So congratulations, you have passed again. Uh, this one, a lot less minor faults. In fact, just one. Mm. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's just before the last roundabout, they have two wheels and some pedals. Uh, was there a bike? There was a slight bicycle lane just before uh, the roundabout. Okay. You yeah. know, sometimes we might be pushed into it by traffic, and if it's safe, yes, we can go over the line. I've only ever had one examiner mark it down once, this road here, the mm -hmm. bicycle lane. So if it's free, we can use the road, just try and avoid the bicycle lane. Mm -hmm. That's it. Any questions? No, I think I'm good. I'm yeah? Good, yeah, we are. Just a little Excellent. hiccup with the reading the signs. I don't know why I put okay. it to the left. Oh, thank you for mentioning that. Well done for going left there. That was mm. good, all right? Sometimes the examiners mention that, so it's nice to tell you guys that's okay, and you know it's okay, because mm -hmm. you demonstrated it. What happened if you didn't go left and you went straight at that occasion? Probably would have been a serious fault. It would have been, yeah. yeah. So, good job there, well done. Yeah, um, the signs aren't that nice there. Uh, they're a little bit late. The second time it came round, mm -hmm. it's like you remembered it. Mm, it's because, I think, on the sign, it was like, Rick Winsworth pinned that it was on the left side. So okay. I automatically thought I need to be on the left for the second yeah. exit because I went into the right to almost avoid that bus that was just like standing initially. That was the first, so the, there was a bus that said, let me go to the right lane drive and then come back when I need to. Because I thought, completely forgot that it was, and I, I think I briefly saw the left hand lane and then the straight and then right, that sign, but then I just didn't remember it. So I just said, I'll come back now. There's no point in me trying to turn right, turn left, and then I, I guess we'll just continue like that. That's what I was, that's what that's I was exactly thinking. what happens. Uh, would you want to give, or if I asked you to give that roundabout, it's just not this one actually, it's the one before it, a name. What do you call it? I don't know, I haven't given it any name. We call this one the supermarket. But that one after, there's nothing there. I'll call it reverse way. 
You reverse way round about, okay, yeah. cool. That helps us just to remember it, yeah, because I really think you remembered it the second time when you're coming through there, okay? All right, uh, I think on that note, we'll sign off. It's been a pleasure again. Thanks, uh, everyone. Thanks to Papa. Like the video if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.